Hi guys, this is Max Headspace 9mm, and a few months back I did a video on my PMR30. Now, I got this gun really cheap because it was malfunctioning for a friend of mine. And so he sold it to me, he'd tried everything, and then I proceeded to try everything in my bag of tricks to try to make it work. And I'm used to guns, when they're fairly new, taking a little bit of time to break in. So I was pretty patient with it. Well, my patience reached an end. I tried everything that I knew, and nothing seemed to work. Of course, I started out with the factory recommended ammunition. I loaded it meticulously and carefully. I'm used to loading high capacity magazines, so I know how important that is. Uh, once I ran into a brick wall and couldn't make this thing work, I started watching YouTube videos and all the other problems that people were having. And I tried all the fixes that they recommended. I tried taking out the slop in the bottom of the magazine by putting a little bit of glue in the notch there to take up that space so that it held it up tighter. I tried every kind of lubricant you could imagine. I, of course, I polished the feed ramp and I did all those things that I said I was going to do. And nothing worked. In fact, if anything, it got worse. So I did the most drastic thing I could think of, and probably what I should have done in the beginning. I called Caltech. Now, Caltech is actually a pretty nice company to deal with. They were really patient. They said, yeah, send it in. Let me take a look at it. Well, a couple months later, I get it back. Now, what I've noticed immediately on inspecting it is they replaced the slide and the barrel. So there's definitely something wrong with this in the manufacturer. Um, they might have had a run of parts that just were a little bit out of spec. But even they acknowledged that it wasn't machined right and needed to be replaced with some new parts. So I have not fired this yet. They assured me that they test fired it. And I see that that's true. I could tell there's a little bit of gunpowder residue in there. So you and I will find out together first shots with this returned gun and we'll find out if I finally have a working PMR-30. Already the slide racks better. It just seems like a better action. It doesn't hang up as much. I have more confidence in this, but let's find out. The smoking gun says it all. That was 30 rounds, full magazine, out of the recommended ammo, and it worked flawlessly. Now I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed with this gun. I thought it was too much to expect, but now I realize, yes, it can be reliable, and this is proof. I'm gonna continue to put mags through this thing because it is a lot of fun to shoot as I've just shown, and I am going to let you guys know, as the future goes on, how I like this gun. But so far, I'm very, very happy. kel did not charge me anything. All I had to pay was shipping. They paid return shipping. So uh, this is a great gun, really nice fiber optic sights. I really like that. And uh, incredibly lightweight, even with full 30 round magazine. And it's actually no bigger than a Glock 17. So um, I'm gonna do some uh, testing in the future to show you not only why I like this so much if it continues to hold up, but also some penetration testing because there's a lot of people that say 22 Magnum, it's just not something I would depend on. Well, let's find out together. So, so far PMR30, is a thumbs up. That's one magazine, but I've never had one magazine actually function all the way through before, no matter what I did. So I'm excited. Thanks a lot. This is Max Headspace 9mm. Have a good one.